All right. Hold on for a second. Check this out. I, um... I don't think this is intentional. I don't think this is the way you're supposed to play this game because, uh... Well, you'll see. So I was goofing around. I cleared out a bunch of the map where the breach and the map intersect, but I hadn't, like, explored it yet. Um... Neither here nor there. Well, that's not neither here nor there. Double check this out. First of all, I got two new weapons. I got that double axe, and I found a thing called a royal dagger. Um, that's super neat. I found a third power matrix, and now I got life bars for days. I don't I don't even care about any of that, because this, this is the discovery of the century. And I'm sure speedrunners are already uh, clued into this, but check this out. So you can climb up the wall, and you've got your little stamina bar in the upper left. But if you transform into buggy form and, and back, you can sort of infinite wall climb upwardly. <laughs> and you're definitely not supposed to do that. But I I done did it. Hold on, I gotta I gotta dispatch of this big mean face for a second. Oh god. Oh god, please stop. I'm trying to make a point, video game, please! I can't believe this. I can't believe how backwards this is going already. Unbelievable. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Pardon me. So, I infinite wall climbed up the uh, central tower of the uh, suspension bridge here, where I couldn't get to before, and that's all well and cool. I found uh, this code in the background, which gave me a new ring that says uh, you fire projectiles out of the royal dagger when you're at full health. So that's super cool. And that could even be extra cool, because look how fast you can swing this thing. It goes zimmy zam zam zap, just like that, if you mash on the button. Maybe try that eventually. I, I don't have confidence that I will ever stay at full health for anything. Um, very briefly, I'm going to sort of travel around with my new power of, of height and flight. Uh, and acquire nothing from either, so that's fine. And I might even die soon if I'm not careful, which will be fantastical. <sighs> but finally, and most importantly, which is why I resumed my recording here, is... I got up on top of this fella, I flew all the way to the right as far as I could, and there was a new tunnel here in a whole new part of the map that I haven't been to yet. I, uh, again, I'm going to reiterate, I don't think I was uh, supposed to go this way, but I'm going this way, alright? <laughs> because, uh... This is just about where I wanted to be. It's above where I couldn't jump what? Oh god, she's talking. Okay, I hit plot. What is this place? They used to say it was the home of the gods. I kind of doubt that, though. Whoever made it, we used it as a kind of factory to help with the war. Thanks, kid. Damn. Yeah, I'm right above those platforms. I couldn't, like, double jump up above. And I'm about to die, which means I'm about to lose heck of progress here if I, if I eat it. Um, so I'm going to try not to do that. Ignore the beeping behind me. Okay, there's there's a metal grate here that I can't pass through, so... Uh, I'm so close to this waypoint, but I can't quite get to it. Oh, it's so funny. But here we go. I, look. I did something. <laughs> Even if that's it for this entire episode, which it may very well be, it's something. This episode's not going to be four minutes long, but it will be... Oh gosh, I sure hope not. <sighs> Laser blocking me on the right. There's something cool looking there on that pedestal. It's like a, like a fun, like, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what you call it. Got a save point so I can warp here whenever I want now. And I got full health. That's extra fun. All right. Also, the music in this area is a remix from of one of the songs from the first game. Uh, I noticed after uh, sort of sitting here and sulking about it for a little while. <laughs> uh, you won't be able to hear it too well because it's pretty quiet, especially compared to my saw blade. But uh... hey, buy this game. 
and listen to the soundtrack yourself. What did I get here? Allows you to see in the dark without use of a flashlight. I turned down the lights, baby! That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, if I go down this pipe, it's just gonna poop me out here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that didn't do anything for me. Hold on, let me teleport. <laughs> Instead of walking around like a chump. Oh, gosh. I feel so much better all of a sudden. D Literally, I spent an, uh, 50 minutes <laughs> just walking around this whole map just looking for anything. Filling in all those little... Those little gaps just here and there, connecting the breach map in ways that I couldn't before, but were ultimately meaningless because they're not forward progress. That's just a lateral, baby. <sighs> okay, we're good. And I can see, that's, that's the best part, is that I can see the damn map now, which makes for a much better YouTube video and uh, gameplay. <laughs> document here. Folks, I got a document here. Destruction Pogrom. Loyal wielders are already immolating themselves with storm bombs in the faithful belief that it serves the greater good, assured that their very existence poses too great a risk in any but the most dire of circumstances. And the Siuna, hailed once as a triumphant way to free ourselves from our unkind and bipartite method of waging war, uplifting arms to warriors themselves and not mere tools to be later discarded are being locked away in Ansur. That was a hell of a run-on sentence. That, that was almost a run-on paragraph, my goodness. I, for one, am not eager to die any sooner than I must. People of Kingar, I implore you, question this so-called wisdom. Trust your own minds, not, not that of a machine. Do your research. <sighs> okay. All right, all right. I realized uh, also on accident that these little um, health things that you can hack to drop health are all are what fill your um, your backup power matrixes. So that's super dope. Uh, I'm gonna want to go left here, I think. Left and uh. wait, I can get up here, right? Oh no. There we go. Hey, I got it, you know? I. Oh, it feels so broken. Like I'm not supposed to be doing things this way. But that's also kind of exciting, isn't it? <gasps> Yo. This is interesting. This factory looks um, one to one, just like uh, the first game. Um, Trace. Uh, encountered li weird egg pods like these. Uh, this is where we healed our wounded. We could also make copies of soldiers here. It looks like a bomb went off in here. After the war, the Lamasu had everyone destroy this stuff. It's too dangerous or something. Cool. Um, hmm. 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 Damn, I'm so close to both of my waypoints here. Actually, hold on. Before I continue right, I noticed on my map that I might be able to connect uh, two points, and I'm going to try to do that. I mean, I know I can warp here whenever I want, but uh, connecting the map is also uh, important. Oh! There's nothing here for me to, like, touch to do that. Interesting. I guess I got to go, like, up and around... Which is what I should have been doing in the first place. Shocker, right? Wow, a different save point. So close to the uh, first one. Oh, that's because I'm on the other side of the laser. Hell yeah. Ul Gishru connects with melee attacks for extra damage. Oh, that's an upgrade to my boomerang. Sick. I love it. Okay. Um. Oh, I thought I threw that through the wall. I just threw it really well through uh, <laughs> through the opening between the platforms there. 
Okay. What do we want? Blue or green? Let's go green. Hmm. Man, this is it. This almost feels like endgame kind of territory, because as far as I'm aware, all I've got left is to fill in, like, this hole in the map right uh, here. <laughs> um, go into the upper right, and then what I suspect is this tunnel will connect down here into this uh, weird laboratory-looking place. There's got to be something funny with this glitch stuff that I do real soon. Because this is a strange dead end to have for kind of no reason. Let me, uh, look at the breach here. Oh, there's a portal! Oh, snap! Uh, yeah, let me just attract that to myself real quick. Damn, I'm glad I thought to do that. Because I, I feel like I wouldn't normally because I'm an idiot. Wow. Wow. I, I just blew this place open, it feels like. And I got here through illicit means. It's so buck wild. I wonder if my friend did the same thing. He played this game a little, a little bit quicker than I did, and he mentioned sort of, I think, uh, making unintentional, like, a progress that felt unintentional. I'm curious to see if, uh, if he did, like, a very similar method to me. It would be most amusing. Um, okay. Oh, hold on. I want to go up and see if I can come out of the breach here. I need one floor higher. I need to go up. I can. I can pop out of the breach up here. And this will have been map that I haven't explored yet. Yeah. Damu, any idea what these do? Oh, I remember this. This is where I became an arm. Why would anyone do this to you? It's inhuman. The younger you are, the more adaptable your mind is. That's true. They thought I could do all kinds of things an adult couldn't. What happened? Didn't it work? The war ended before I was really needed. Like all this stuff, I was too dangerous to keep around. So they smoked me. <laughs> Oh, I didn't... This isn't... I could have just walked here. <laughs> I'm such a dumbass. Right, I'm gonna get a full health bar and then walk here with my legs. Like an adult. Alright. Alright. That's so funny. I just went in like a big... A big trans-dimensional circle. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, I, I just found a secret. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. All right. This looks like a functional egg. So what's this one do? Nobody knows. Actually, it was never lit up like this before. Like I said, the elders believed all this stuff was made by the gods, but you know it was probably just made by people. That's true. Ah, cool, I get to be in the egg. I don't even know what this is going to do. Overworld. Hold on. I can't switch my map around, so... This is some kind of, like, mega breach that I'm in? What is this? I love the look of this. Wow, this place is super cool. Okay, there's a metal door down there that I can't go through, so it's just, uh, it's just uppies for Indra today. <laughs> so I'll go left. This is so bonkers. Indra, can you hear me? Is this the Lamasu? Hammond? Oh. Yes, this terminal, this terminal doesn't have the limitations of an Ansible, so we can speak freely. I'm very sorry for having lured you here, but you must believe I had no other choice. Cut the crap. Is Samara there? I want to talk to her. Of course, just a minute. 
Mother, are you there? Samara, it's really you, isn't it? Yes, it's me. Listen, I'm here with Hammond. I, I gotta stop this. Listen, I'm here with Hammond and so many other people. It's nuts. Sweetie, where are you? Are they treating you well? Mom, I'm not like a hostage or anything. They're definitely inside the computer now. They, they gave up their physical forms, right? And that's gonna be like the twist. But this place is going to get wiped out if you don't do what Hammond asks. Is there a way out? No, Mom, we're in another place like where you are, with no exits. Hammond wants to talk again. Hold on. Indra, this is important. Centuries ago, the Lamasu repurposed some upstream tech to combat the Udu. Evidently, it worked, but caused several important systems to fail. We are now at the verge of collapse. Samara, myself, and eventually everyone alive today will be flushed out of existence. I can fix it, but I need you to hack this terminal to give me total control. Why don't you hack it yourself? We're in a kind of detention center. I had to resort to some very tricky methods to even contact you. Detention center, how did you get there? The Russians, probably. <laughs> I don't think you're ready to hear the answer to that just yet. Lady, I am literally a, a one foot tall drone robot made of nano machines. I can handle anything. You're insufferable. Can you get me back home? Possibly, but first, the hack. Uh, this seems like one of those things that you don't actually want to do, but uh, something tells me the plot will not move forward until I uh, until I hack uh, Hammond here. <laughs> but just to sort of appease my own mind, I'm going to look around a little bit. Man, this place looks so cool. I love this. All right, fine. Hammond, can you tell me anything about Ama Shalama and what she's trying to do? Those nanomachine entities were tools in an ancient war, but some of them were once human. At some point, they created bodies. They called them Siuna, so they wouldn't need a wielder like yourself to harness them. They were evidently dangerously powerful, so only one was ever used before they decided to seal the rest away. Do you know where they might be? I just know they were sequestered in another world. I don't know where or how to get there, but if the wrong person had access, it would be very bad. Okay. I guess it's no more talkies to Hammond, so I must need to do something else to hack this. Oh! Yes, I do need to do something else. I need to press a separate button. God, I'm incredibly dumb. Right, there you go, lady. It is done. I don't see a change. Wait, hold on. You did it! For once something went smoothly, I'm impressed. I'll get your daughter. Hold on. Mom, we're being evacuated somewhere safer. It's going to take a while, though. Evacuated to where? Hammond showed me some of the things you've done since I left. I want you to stop blaming yourself over what happened to me. Thanks to you, I'm going to be just fine. That doesn't answer my question. There's no time, but we'll see each other again eventually. I know it. Samara, I'm sorry. It's Hammond again. Samara had to go, but they're letting me stay longer so I can make sure things are working properly. Who's they? Okay, once you leave, I'm going to deactivate the portal you came through. It's too much of a risk that someone could undo what we've accomplished. I'm trying to get the Ansible at 4410 back online so we can still communicate. This has been a lot to take in. I think I need to be alone now. Understandable. Be safe. Uh, okay, interesting. Um... This map is weird to me, because if this is going to close behind me, there's all these metal doors I couldn't go through before. So, should I explore it now, or just trust that I'll come back here later, or or maybe it's nothing at all? I don't know. Maybe the doors are just there for, like, flavor, you know? Maybe that's a flavor win. To show that this uh, this facility could be accessed by a potential third party, and so that CinemaSins doesn't come in here and be like, nobody could actually get in there. Bleh. Uh, hello. <laughs> what do I do? Where do I go? I thought this was it. I thought I would portal out of here. <sighs> this opened completely silently. Okay. Different egg. Cool. 
Man, that's annoying. Whatever. I only lost like a minute of my life. It was only a minute of my life. Uh, I don't think this door was open before I entered that portal either, so now I've got uh, got some stuff to look at over here too. Cool ball. Oh, that, that little thing shocked me. I can't. I can't use my. Uh, Ability. <laughs> All right, we trucking. We got some stuff now. Hack that door. Now I can get through here um, even after I die, which is about to happen. Oh, wow, if you're on the same screen as where it'll teleport you to, it just instantly throws you there. That's cute. And helpful. God damn, that thing is super powerful. I probably should have just hacked it or something. I'm an idiot not to. Beware the pattern mind. We must flee. Wielders, if you have not done so, hide your arms. F those few that can cross the storms. It is said that the pattern minds derive their power directly from the Ansuer. Our only hope now is that we can survive long enough to regroup another day. All right. How'd you like that improv? I just thought of that on the spot and I thought it was really clever. All right, man, I, check this out. We're going to visit two waypoints in one episode. <laughs> it's unbelievable to me. And real quick, I just want to look at this. Yes, this is something I can hack, which can only be good. Yeah, it opens up a, a path I didn't have before. Um, again, not that that's the best thing in the world, because you can, you can just teleport freely where you want. But it's good to know. It's good to have that sort of peace of mind. Aw, oh, shoot. I feel, I feel like I'm about to get an ability from this chumperoni here. Wielder, it is I, the Lamasu. I haven't located Amashalama yet. Nevertheless, I feel I am forced to trust you. In the chamber to the right is the Lost Suna. It is the only one of its kind not locked away upstream. If you can find a way inside, it will help you defeat Amashalama. All right, dog. Um, can you, can you give me mist form, please? I need it. I need it for me. Um, I don't want to go in that breach yet. I want to explore up a little bit first. Okay, this is where I thought it was. This is actually where I met Ama Shalama the first time. Um, there's... Yeah, this room filled up with water and she was in a jar resting on, on that shelf right up above my head here. Dr. Gloria at it again. <laughs> Dr. Gloria is under fire again for a recent interview with Indra Chaudhry that critics are calling exploitative and sensationalists. Uh, after leading with relatively innocuous questions regarding her interest in Shakespeare, Dr. Gloria seemed, seems to goad Chaudhry into making erratic statements about her daughter Samara. We're estranged. We haven't spoken in several years, and that's all I'm going to say. She was shown on camera refusing medication offered by a mental health professional. Shadri, for her part, is responding with typical flair, filing a 500 million defamation lawsuit against parent company Buttress Media Inc. Damn. Damn, Indra. All right, what was... Oh, right, there's a great on the right. Oh, I'm so thrilled to be making what I would call progress. Is there a laser here? No. Cool. 
cool music. I like it. And also, I need to remember I can sort of pop out of the breach at any point uh, if it becomes, like, beneficial to do so. Those enemies really suck. I hate those. They just stay they stay above you to the point where you can't touch them. How unbelievably annoying. <laughs> oh no. Everything here sucks. Oof. Oof. I don't even know how to like get away from this thing before it kills me. I guess that's how. Oh my god! Oh my god, I have no health left, please! Right, prayer was answered. <laughs> I got some health back. I can survive maybe like one more hit. Oh hell yeah, save point. Save point, baby! Oh, check it. I'm, like, all up in the middle of the guts of, of this area. I should see uh, if I can pop out of the breach at some point. And now it's hard to see in the other direction. I don't, I don't need a flashlight. I need less light <laughs> bouncing off all the snowflakes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh snap! Oh, that's not great. That's not great to see. You don't want, you don't love to see it. Ugh. Just a big ugly boss sitting here. I'm gonna eat it. I ate it. Okay, how far back am I? Just a couple of rooms, I guess. Damn, that boss is really hard. Because, like, you gotta... It fires on the horizontal plane, but stays out of your range. Like, it's, it's much easier to approach an enemy, like, vertically in some cases than it is horizontally. I'm just gonna ignore this one for now. To hell with that. Just sort of want to find one last upgrade before I can uh, cut it here. I think I'm about to get one. Ooh, there's a dead human here. Goodbye. To whoever finds this, if this is the end, then it's time I pass on what I know. It all starts with Dr. Eschenbrenner. Okay, that's not nearly as difficult a name as it looked. Eschenbrenner, who first discovered the breach and was traveling to alternate realities before Hammond Corp was even formed. His greatest fear was that the technologies of the world stream would prove too dangerous and destructive for Earth, and he implored me to keep it secret until he could discover exactly what had happened at the root. Though I doubted him at first, the more I learned, the more inclined I was to agree. The apocalypse arms alone could be catastrophic to our world. It has now been decades since he left Earth. I had, I had mounted this latest expedition to try and follow, but since I am not a pattern mind, the hurdles are great. For what it's worth, my next step was to find a device called a scry. This, taken with a piece of his DNA, would be able to find his exact location. Clearly, there's something gravely amiss here, the barriers between worlds slowly degenerating, and no apparent attempts being made to correct course. We must do something. Hammond. Oh, this is Hammond's body. Cool. Um, do I need to get a breach over here? Yeah. All right, breach me up. And we popped out just to pop back in real quick. Like I said, I'm just looking for like one more piece of upgrade or something to, to shove in my face. Actually, hold on. I kind of do want to see... Uh... Oh, there's nothing down here. Oh, I'm a fool. Okay. We gotta be close to that mist form. I'm telling you. Oh, 
Oh, this sucks to look at. At long last, I can free us from our primordial bonds. Now to find the portal to answer. All right. <laughs> hey, it's my body. You have to... Who's talking? Who Who's in there right now? What? You have to stop her. I saw inside her mind. If she destroys answer, it all ends. I'll never see Samara. She's not breathing. It seemed like she was back to being Indra again. And now she's dead, so what does that make me? And that big red thing, is that the lost Siuna? An empty body just waiting for an arm to take over. And that answer place was supposed to have more of them. Do you think Amashalama really wants to destroy the world? I'm not sure what she... I'm not sure that's what she means to happen. Though I don't exactly want to find out if she's right, either. Ah, uh, that's so nuts that there were two Indras. Like, two... Two copies of her consciousness. Ah, this is good stuff, yo. Just bust down this wall and find an urn. Is this what I've been craving? Tilkar, disperse into a cloud of nanites. I'm Tilhar. With me, you become as a cloud, able to pass through cracks and grates. I've been seeing gratings all over since I arrived. It's like a damn motif. <laughs> She's just literally saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Indeed, these barriers are one of the ways the wielders were finally able to entrap and vanquish the Udu. Cool. Um, let me pop that ability onto my left trigger instead of my cool dagger. Does this cost points to use? A little bit. Wielder, we are in grave danger. Yeah, I noticed. I saw. She said she's looking for the portal to answer. Yes, yeah, she means to obtain the rest of the Siuna cash. Then she will destroy our mother world with a legion of arms. I think you would need to explain a bit what this means. In the same way that destroying the universe would mean destroying all the planets within the universe, destroying the answer will destroy all the universes within it. And what sort of insanity makes her think this is a good idea? She believes in that she believes in that this universe can somehow survive what a I'm sorry. I am having a trouble I'm having trouble with this sentence. She believes in that this universe can somehow survive independently of the mother. Indra, it is paramount that you stop her. At the portal to the Siuna cache is an undetonated storm breach bomb left over from the war. All that's needed is for you to activate it. Where is it? In sector 4318, beneath your people's research base. Like I thought. It was nearly discovered by them. It was nearly discovered by them is why I sent drones to chase them from the area. This sounds dangerous. What is the blast radius of the bomb? The walls are of a material not native to this world and should contain the blast. Okay, I'll check it out. If it's as you say, I'll set it to blow. And then you'd better find a way to get me back to my own body. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. I think she's already in her own body. She just doesn't realize it yet because that's not her consciousness anymore. Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks for her. I need to stop playing this game. <laughs> um, now that I have mist form, I should be able to sort of make this leap uh, over here. I'm going to test it out first, before I quit. And then I really gotta stop. It's it's six in the morning. <laughs> I've been irresponsible today. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leap, gain some height, mist form, hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're in there. Alright, good enough. I'm calling it here. Thank you for joining me on Axiom Verge 2. I think the next episode is going to be our last. This is my called shot. I don't know my battering, batting average on those. I think it's pretty good, though. I think it's pretty good. But I digress. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>